Well, hello everybody, how you doing? Good? It's good to hear. We are here at... Rome Mountain State Park. <laughs> in Rome Mountain, Tennessee. And it is just beautiful, except it's raining. Yes. But we're making the best of it. And uh, just a beautiful place. Right here on the river, as you can see behind us there. We're just actually standing on a bridge. And there's a hiking trail up this way. Yeah, we're getting ready to walk up through there and hike. Turkey Trot. <laughs> Turkey Trot Trail. Yes. That's where we're standing. And uh, there's campgrounds here, cabins, a large pool. It had tennis courts, basketball courts, places to camp. It's, it's huge, isn't it? Yeah. We've already been talking. We want to try and come back. It's always so busy. Uh, but uh, we want to try and come back and camp here sometime. So yeah. we're look, looking forward to that. Do some tent camping. Yeah. Man, don't that do your eyes good right there. Wow. Nothing like a mountain stream. Beautiful spot. We pulled off the road here. So green out here. You have to stay six feet away from me, it says <laughs> on the sign. The rhododendron. These big rocks with moss on them. You what? These big rocks with moss on them. Yeah. All right, let's go. Follow the yalla flame there. Look at this. Beautiful. Creek right down there. Well, it didn't look like it's been too much traffic on this trail. So far, it's been pretty easy. A little muddy here. Watch your step. You made it. <laughs> These roots. Walking through the rhododendron. How pretty is that? Isn't this a nice trail? Oh, yeah. So many rhododendron, they're everywhere. Yeah, it's just. Wow, look at that. Yes. Some vine. These big old trees in here, too. the mountains we go. You having fun? Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Wow look at this look at this view. It's 
So what do you think about this trail so far? It's beautiful, I like it. It'd be nice if it wasn't raining, but it's still pretty. It's hiking in the rain. Except a few places. Look at all this green. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like we're in the middle of the forest. Yeah, and the roads just, you can hear the cars over there. You can see the trail's getting pretty muddy. Here she comes. Say, so it's getting pretty muddy, huh? We don't have hiking boots on, so I'm not sure how far we're going to be able to make it. If you enjoy rhododendron, a river, peaceful, you hear some birds, and the rain's not going to hurt anybody, right? If you enjoy that, all this greenery, this is a great place to come. That. She's running off and leaving me. Make sure you scare those snakes out of my way. <laughs> this is just another little spot. The trail's just right over here. Look at that. Wow. How beautiful. Well, we have made it quite a ways down the trail. And um, I don't know, maybe what, close to a mile, I guess, something like that probably. So we're gonna turn around and head back toward the, the vehicle. But it's been an adventure. It's been pretty. Yes, it has. All the way down through here. One of the prettiest hikes we've ever walked. Yeah, I just agree. There's something about in the mountains and around this scenery and the smell that's coming through as you're walking through here. The coolness, crispness, and the crispness of the air. And it is, it is great An adventure. Yeah just peaceful, calm. We just kept going and I think that this particular trail turned into another one. We didn't really recognize it. Ended up going a little further than this trail was. So a few inclines, you can see, I don't know. But a really nice hike. We were just talking. Everywhere you looked, the beauty of the Lord. Isn't that amazing? Crazy, huh? Yes. All of creation shouts his praise. Yes. These ferns back in here. <laughs> Pretty. Love that moss. That is good for the eyes. I mean, that just does it for just about all the senses. Yeah. I mean, I can't taste it, but. <laughs> well, it's good for the eyes and the soul and the heart. Yeah. Look at the beauty here at the visitor center. Peg leg iron ore mine. Here comes the sun. Remember that song? Here comes the sun. Yep. It was logged and pastured over a hundred years ago. Hmm. Oh. This is Doe River. Right? Doe River. Let's look back here. There's some trails. 
See, there's Peg Leg Mine Trail and Cloudland Nature Loop. Oh, look at that. That's neat. That wheel is a lot bigger, isn't it? When you're up here close to it, it looks so small from out there at the road. That thing is huge. There's gears. That's some pretty interesting technology for that long ago. Well, there you go. I think this little trail just goes out and about. We're not gonna take it, but had some small children, it's rocked and stuff. Looks like it'd be really nice. Not very long, I bet. Meat in here, huh? Yeah. Especially the different life sounds and species. Yeah. Inside the visitor center, I have this nice little display plants, animals. <laughs> the what? Wealth above and below the ground. Maybe we can find some gold. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Look at the little banjo. Well, it's natural resources. Homesteading on the Rhone. Dave Miller Homestead. Hopefully, we can show that to you. Be neat. Oh, look at the little dolls they made. Mm -hmm. Of course, the blanket. That corn shut stuff. And religion. Yeah, corn husk. Wow, look at that old cash register. Some old logging stuff. Wow, they got all kinds of things here. Got lamp oil can, an old iron. Apple core. There's a snuff tin right there. <laughs> Black powder. A little brown jug. Look at the medicine bottles. Those are cool. Scale. And ginseng root. There's your ginseng. If you ever wondered. Ox shoe. Cowbell. Bull nose ring right there. Cowbell. And all kinds of traps. Yeah. Well, there wasn't any gold. Didn't like find any gold. Or mining and just natural resource. Or maybe she Pretty was cool visitors area. Miss Roan Mountain. Maybe she was Miss Roan Mountain. I guess so. That's your stickers. Little ranger. Some hawking canes. Some of these shirts say Rome Mountain State Park, 1959. So that must have been when it was established. Yeah. Hmm. T-shirts. It's cold camping here. Don't care. <laughs> Think outside, no box required. <laughs> yep. Oh, that one. Summer melon. Cute little bear guys, aren't they? Yeah. They're so cute. You know this is where I wanted to come, see my friends, the snakes. <laughs> At least they're on the other side of the glass. So we got a rat snake right here. Yeah. Like that. Mm. You never heard of milk snake, have you? Oh yeah. Yeah, I heard of the milk snake. Then you got the uh, corn snake. You can't really see him good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Coming into the campground here. Playground, picnic area, all ripped off because of the virus. They 
got their bear cans. And a little plant ground over in here. This is your smaller campsites for pop-ups and things. These mountains. There's some more campsites, three and four. And just kind of area, area three and four. Yeah, area three and four that we just took a look at. Look at this airstream over here. It's an old one too. Okay, so these are the tent sites here in the campground. This is a pretty campsite. It's for a tent. And yay, looks like it's beside the creek. Really nice. You got your picnic table and your fire pit. These big old trees. We got tennis courts, volleyball court, playground, several playgrounds, basketball, pretty good sized swimming pool down here. There's the dog park snack bar. Look at that. That's a nice looking pool. Yeah, getting it. Must take park pools are big. Your cabins are back up in here. Now we're going to the Miller Farmstead, established in 1870. And it's uphill. We up here at the farmstead. Let me show you guys. It's a Miller Farmstead Monarch Way Station. That. Farmhouse, barn, sit just down in a little valley here in the mountains. It was a long climb up. This is the Miller Farmstead. The land you're standing on was farmed by the Miller family from the late 1800s to the 1960s. Three generations of Millers carved a home and a living out of this rocky mountain soil. Mountain farmers were compelled to be tough, strong, practical, and innovative. Woo. Even back then, they were innovative. They were bound to one another by the bonds of family hard work and faith. There's a picture of it, but there's a beautiful video of it. Look at that. So from the farmstead, there's a little road. If you just take it, come up this way, overlook we'll go to in just a minute but there's a little graveyard well cemetery actually there's a difference in a graveyard and a cemetery the graveyard is a continuation I believe of the yard of the church the cemetery is by itself now, this is just a rock and nothing else Some of these stones are really, really old. Beautiful little cemetery here on top of the mountain, on top of Rome Mountain. Yeah, there's signs everywhere, you know, to stay at least six feet away. Hey, here's a trail. Chestnut Ridge. Yeah, and um, I bet that would be a tough one because we climbed a long ways in a vehicle and I guarantee you if you're going to hike that, that's going to be pretty tough. But look at this view. Observation. Viewing the Rhone Highlands. Wow. I'll read this while you're looking at this. It says, from your vantage point, you're looking out over the Highlands of Rhone Mountain about five miles away. So we have some clouds in the way. And down on the valley where Rome Mountain State Park is located. It says, at one time, the only humans that occupied this area of the Southern Appalachians were Native Americans, such as the Woodland Indians, 
who farmed the mountain soil more than 2,000 years ago. Mm. See up there, each is numbered, and down here tells you the elevation. And what if they're named for something like 11? Is Jane Bald. Legend says that Jane Bald is named for a woman who contracted milk sickness by drinking milk from a cow that had been poisoned by eating snake root. So we're going to see which one is the highest. It looks like two or four when you look at it from here. Two, four, or ten. Let's ten. see. Okay, so Grassy Ridge right there, number 10. What's the highest elevation? 6,160 feet. Look at that view. Well, thanks for coming along, and we have been at Roan Mountain State Park. And it's a great day in spite of the rain, right? Mm -hmm. Right now it's cleared up. Yeah, it's kind of windy up here and the elevation is, we came up a pretty, you can see, a um, pretty steep incline up here above the homestead in Rome Mountain and it's just gorgeous. It's definitely worth coming to sometime if you haven't been, but uh, yeah, again, we uh, have to come back sometime, do another hike. There's several hikes up here, but what a beautiful, beautiful place here in Eastern Tennessee, we're not far, we're actually far from the North Carolina uh, line here. So, yep. right. so it's been a great day. We're glad you've joined us. And if you haven't already, subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon will help you know when we're premiering something new. Hit the thumbs up. Until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye bye.